and so we'll just start putting our sky in obviously darker towards the top and then I'll take that down to our horizon line I put an horizon line in there I do tend to be a little bit OCD when it comes to painting but that's there's no harm done in that, is there? Okay, so a so basic sky fitted in. We've got a few clouds there, um, so we're going to start working on the foreground now. Okay, you're going to need a fairly uh, dark background on which to um, lay your, your lighter colours. So we've got a, a little um, flat here, which I'm going to mix my paint with. i got some burnt umber, um, burnt sienna, a bit of diaz purple by there. So I'm going to mix them together. Um, I'm just going to start me off, just a touch of water to that and then I can continue then building these up individually onto the canvas um, as they get to get our colours ok ok so we're back to the canvas, what I'm going to do now I'm going to turn the board round and uh, you might be thinking, oh, what's he doing? And uh, to be honest, with you, I'm not too sure of myself. I was money joking. Okay, so we need to get obviously darker in the foreground, because the top is now the bottom. And the bottom is now the top. No, it looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but it'll uh, it'll all come into its own shortly. It's at points I guess I begin to wonder why I ever do the drawings because 99% of the time I, I paint over them anyway but we need a guide so now I am lightening the mix as it's going back and yeah I mean lightening I'm using more burnt sienna than burned under with diaz in it so there's your road there just I'm basically blending these now wet on wet. A touch more diaz purple, a bit of burnt amber. Just to get that nice rich colour. Okay, so if you've been following me on my other videos, um, then you've probably done this step several times. So I got my burnt sienna and burnt amber. Uh, there's a little bit of diaz purple which will be mixed into the the uh, winding road. I've got some hookers green. So I'm going to add to that now. And then we're going to scrub this in to the grass area. I'm using the mix fairly thick and stiff here. I'm scrubbing it in. What I decided to do now is give myself a little bit of the uh, card uh, light yellow. Just add a touch of that to the mix we made just to lighten the grass there slightly to get a bit of texture. Mix a little bit of brown with it at certain times. Some of these grass is not always green as you know. So we keep mixing this. Bear in mind that we are on paper now, mind not uh, canvas. So don't over scrub otherwise you will take the paper away with it. At the moment it looks like a nice mess, but paintings always go through an ugly stage. And this is certainly an ugly stage. The brain only works one way, as I said to you before. You only do one thing at a time, so if you, that's all you're thinking about is painting or fishing or whatever other hobbies you like, then yeah. your headache disappears. Which is, uh, Wonderful, really. Yes. Okay, so I've mixed a soft middle tone from one part burnt sienna, one fourth part burnt amber, and about a fourth part of card yellow uh, uh, light, and a little bit of white. And I've thinned the mixture slightly. So we'll just, I don't know if you can see this, I'm just going to test that to see if it's okay on the side of the canvas there. 
You get that? Yeah. So I'm just going to lighten the road now. I'm using half moon strokes. I'm following the, the curves. This is a very thin mix, like I've said, so you can get away with it. I'm just going to put a bit of burnt ember on my brush a minute just to redefine these banks. I'll lighten the mix again slightly with a bit of uh, titanium white. I've introduced a touch of, and I mean a touch, of cat orange into that until I get the colour I'm happy with and this is just for my second highlights of the road ok so I'm just trying to as I said don't be afraid to use your finger and I'm going to lighten the mix once more in the same way a bit more card orange Touch of water. Okay, so what I'm going to do at this stage now is I'm going to get a bit of burnt ember. And I'm going to place a couple of rocks. As we did in the um, dirt and gravel, and a big one there, look. and a couple of baby ones. I'm not using any particular brushes for this method. It's just whatever, basically, I got the hand. So you don't have to go out and buy all this expensive stuff. Even though a lot of these shops and that want you to, it's got a bit more into my like mixture. Okay, let's put some gravel down, so sweat my toothbrush, going into a bit of yellow, a bit of burnt sienna, and I'm flicking towards me. That. Okay, just introduce my little one inch foliage brush. I think paid for that about 30p, I think. So I'll just start roughing in a bit of grass.
Nah itu One more Indian go Thanks for watching Painting along in the studio with myself Clive Hey, if this is your first time on my channel Please check out my playlist links below You'll go through all the acrylic painting and also some, there's an airbrush site as well which I've just started which is phenomenal. I'm learning as I go so you wouldn't laugh by my mistakes as well. If there's anything you want me to cover then please leave a comment in the comment box. If you haven't already done so please subscribe. If you have already subscribed well thank you very much and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye bye.